What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be my match review of the Espanyol vs Wolves game in the Europa League. And let's get into it. It's agony, ecstasy, we're all one big family, we've got each other's back. So, where do I start? Um, coming to the game, we were 4-0 up on aggregate. And um, I felt quite confident coming into this game, knowing that Espanyol aren't really on good form at the moment. Especially, they, uh, I think they lost their cup final on the weekend, 2-1. Um, so, they didn't really have much confidence going into the game. Well, Espanyol didn't, I did. Um... And I looked at the starting lineup, and I was pleased to see Pedance actually in the starting lineup. I was expecting uh, Leo uh, Campana to be in the um, in the starting lineup, and just doesn't want, just wasn't was he? Um, even in the game, he didn't come on. Um, so I would love to see him play today, but he didn't. Um, right, onto the game. First half now. I'm just happy we've got through. Like throughout this game, it wasn't the best game in the world, was it? Really, when it comes to excitement, really, it was just we need to go to Espanyol and do our job, pretty much. And we ended up doing it, but we didn't make it easier for ourselves, did we? Especially with, with the sloppy defended in like I think they scored in the 12th minute, um, and it was. It, it, it wasn't even a well pieced goal, in all fairness. It was just really bad defending. Um, one, two on the wing, cross it in, just tap it in. It was. Yeah, it wasn't the best. But what can I say? Adama coming back to his hometown and he scores at the Espanol ground. Um, it's good, uh, good goal. He took it well. Except for the fact that Pedance. Pedance crossed it in well. Because when he crossed it in, he waited perfectly. He had his perfect opportunity to cross it in. He just waited and threw balled it to Adama. Luckily, he did have the deflection. Um, otherwise, I don't, I don't think he would have scored it. But then, when he did, he had the chance to bang it into the net. He did. He put full power in. Luckily, the keeper didn't get a good enough hand onto there. Otherwise, it would have been a good save. Um, it's just a shame. That um, obviously he, he he went off like we're not getting another goal really, but he played really really well. Adama did, and so did Pedance up front. Um, obviously, then we go into the second half, and then we can see the penalty. Now, Kilman obviously he's a quite a lanky guy, so what can you say? But the so obviously then a Spaniel score the penalty, well taken penalty. Um, it was just high foot, really. There's no, there's no debate, really. Is the it's high foot, and uh, it's something that we need to work on, work with defensively as well for cert for certain. Um, but we did quite well with the second goal. Um, another assist by Pedance. Um, well, you say Kilman did do because what happened was Venegu came off. Um, Sace came on and Kilman went on the, as a left wing back. Um, not obviously not his natural position, but he had to do the work today. Um, and he waited for the ball to go out slowly. And as he did that, Pedant did a run. He quickly threw it. Then obviously crossed it into the box, like pretty much like the first goal um, for Espanyol and <laughs> Quinn. Um, I didn't expect them to, well, well Wolves concede the goal. Um, at the end of the game, because I expected Neto to win to score the one on one. Personally, I think the pressure got to him. He did all the hard work. All he had to do was just slot it in. He could have picked anywhere in that goal. It was an open goal, and he just well, just say about a meter wide of the of the left hand post. What can you say? It's just. <sighs> It's just a lucky opinion, but jeez, I, I was I expected him to score it. Now, 
there's a few issues I want to pick up on the game uh, beforehand as well. Um, there was obviously trouble in uh, Barcelona with uh, the Wolves fans and the police. Hopefully no one got injured too much. I know there's a guy that was there's a video was circulating and it was on our we, we put it on our part on our page as well just to um before yesterday um to raise awareness of obviously what was going on and all the other stuff that was going on as well. Um but he he's he's okay, luckily. Um he had to stay overnight in hospital. Even though the, his medical bills aren't very pretty at all, um it's good to hear that he's he's safe and sound and he's perfectly fine um there's also a lot of pickpockets in barcelona uh, i know someone lost well someone's son got their phone stole off him so it's just one of them ones where we came like we i'm looking at looking at the footage and apparently from different people that they were there the the problems we had in the, on like before the game and all that kind of stuff like it wasn't pretty at all so Especially now that the, the uh, Spaniel fans have got, obviously, they've got this 3-2 win, but they're still not going to go through to the Europa League uh, last 16. There's going to be, I think there's going to be a lot of trouble going on. So if you're there and uh, you do experience any uh, trouble with the Spaniel fans, just just uh, be careful and be safe. Um, but they've got some other issues in the game as well. Now, their game plan was to try and get Troy away sent off. Um... He got a yellow card. This guy was must be about four foot eleven, and obviously Adama's not a, a small guy, is he? Not like he went to go and push him in the chest and end up hitting him in the face by accident. So he got the yellow card, and they were like trying to get him sent off the whole game. Um, the one person that did try and get him sent off, he got subbed off before he even Troy or even got sent off. No, not sent off, subbed off. Sorry. Um, so yeah, it we today. It didn't look our best, in all fairness, but we, we, luckily we did the job at Molyneux at home, getting the 4-0, four, four goals we did, thanks to Jota. Um, and obviously Ruben Neves, banger of a goal. Um, but, in all fairness, even if they, even if we, like, considered quite a lot of goals, they would need, they would say they would have needed to score seven goals in one game, so, <laughs> it was one of them ones where, I don't think they would have been able to. So even when we were scored, even when we scored the first away goal, they then had to score five goals, and then obviously six goals, and then obviously, do you know what I mean? It was just a, it was just a bit of a mad game in all fairness. Um, but yeah, that means we're on to, into the last sixteen. Um, at the moment, I know Man United are playing. Um, I, think, I don't know who they're playing actually, bro. Braga, I think, not Braga, uh, what's that Belgian team now, anyway, I don't know, uh, Inter are playing, I, oh, no, on the plane, Ajax, I think the plane Ajax, actually, never mind, Man, Man United playing Ajax, so, hopefully we don't get Ajax, hopefully we don't get uh, United either, because in their upper league, they do seem to be banging in goals, um, I'll take Arsenal, I'll probably take Rangers as well, even though Rangers, <laughs> they're a good team. Um, so, yeah, them are, the, them are a couple of teams I'd take. Um, wouldn't take Inter Milan. Definitely not wouldn't take Inter. It's just, that's, that's out of the picture. There's no way we're going to, oh, I want to get Inter Milan. Um, but I want to get Arsenal or Rangers to, because just because obviously oh, I've always wanted to go to Ibrox as well. So that could be a good way again for me if I ever want to go to that. Um, but, we will see tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like down below and comment any thoughts on the game down below in the in the comments. I will leave all our social medias in the description to our Facebook, to our Twitter, to our Instagram, um, my Twitter. Um, everyone's Twitter is associated. I'll leave, I'll even Scott, uh, leave Scott's down below as well. So I hope you guys you, you did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like and peace. Each other.